So I was tagged by both Natalie Snicket and NR Gumano to do the ladies survey. Here we go. Who are your favorite female YouTubers? I have a lot. I mostly watch girl vloggers, but some of my favorites are Cassie HP0593, Emily the Brave, Gabix, JP Metz, Lindsay the Nerdiest, Hellybot, Rose Ellen Dix, and of course the two people who tagged me, Natalie Snicket and Nora. Who are your favorite female athletes? I don't really watch sports, and if I do, it's the occasional football game or basketball game. But never women's basketball, which is interesting. But since I've been watching the Olympics, I have a lot of respect for synchronized divers, especially the girls from China. They are so perfect at it, and I have a lot of respect for them. I also love Gabby Douglas, who got gold at gymnastics all around. What is your favorite book written by a female with a female protagonist? I love The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. It's just such a beautifully written book with such a charming main character that you can't help but love it. What is your favorite film written by a female with a female protagonist? So I just looked up a couple of my favorite films and found out that two of them were actually written by females. So I lucked out in that regard. I love Legally Blonde. It's probably my favorite comedy of all time because even though it's a chick flick, it's really well written and really smart. One of my other favorite movies is I Am Sam with Sean Penn and Dakota Fanning and Michelle Pfeiffer. And even though Sean Penn's character is technically the protagonist and title character, there are a lot of other important female characters and it was written by a female. Who is your favorite female fictional character? I had such a hard time with this question because I tend to hate girls in fiction because I feel like they aren't real. And the person I chose as my favorite actually fits that same mold, but I'm choosing Margot from Paper Towns. And even though I find her a little bit obnoxious and a little unrealistic, I have this thing about old buildings and investigating things that are kind of mysterious and she does that so I just really like that about her because I want to do that. And I like how complex she is. She is fearless in some ways and humanly afraid of other things. What is the biggest problem facing female creators today? Like I said before, I mostly watch female YouTubers. It's not a conscious decision, it's just something I do. I think there are probably more female vloggers but more smaller ones too. I think the bigger YouTubers tend to be male. And I think that's because the really famous female YouTubers like Jenna Marbles and Daily Grace have to adopt a men's style of humor to attract the same audience. Do you think YouTube and online video in general are better or worse suited than television for tackling the problems and prejudices women face in the workplace? I would say in general yes because of what other people have been saying that women get to make their own decisions when they make their own content start to finish. But because of that fame discrepancy that I just mentioned, they're still affected by what the media says and what people want to see. So while it's easier for a female to get her start in YouTube, I feel like it's probably just as hard for her to achieve her success and fame in YouTube as in television. What do you pledge to do to make the internet a better place for all content creators? That I've found that's kind of fun to do every once in a while. Go to the YouTube search bar and type first vlog, then you can see everyone's first attempts into vlogging. Leave your comments saying, welcome to YouTube, great video, nice start, I'd like to see more. Because it's so hard to start out, especially if you don't feel like you have an audience that makes the experience rewarding. Tell a story or whatever surrounding females. So I went to go see a Watsky concert last week, and I stood in line for two hours behind this girl who I thought was really familiar. It was one of those things where it's like, I know you're familiar, I know who you are, but I can't place you. And we were chatting and she said she'd been to VidCon, but I didn't think to ask like, oh, do you make YouTube videos? What's your YouTube name? You look familiar. Then later when I was driving home, it suddenly hit me that I was subscribed to her collab channel and that's why she looks so familiar to me. And she ended up tagging me in this video because we met last week, so hi Nora. Number 10 is tag people. And this is the one thing I didn't write down before I started. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb! Okay, so I tagged, they named her Amy, who I just found and she's lovely. I'll link her below and over here or something. Charla la latte? Is that how many logs there is? It's also lovely. She's really new to YouTube, so go leave her some love. And I feel like there should be a third one. How about that girl purple? Because she's lovely also. Honestly guys, if you don't want to, there's no pressure. I feel like the survey is a little bit dead at this point. I didn't feel like I had a whole lot to add to the conversation, so don't feel pressured. But if you want to make a video, I would love to hear your responses. Check out the ladies below, give them some love, and happy yesterday. Watsky. Oh god, his name is so hard to say. Watsky! Who should win a not concise award? It would be me. I'm not concise in any way. Oh, you're a sly dog.